A normally hot season for tourism in the low country, it has taken a sharp turn. Charleston is full of culture. We know that incredible view, southern charm. News 2's Temple Ricky, though, explains how COVID-19 is creating a big change in the hospitality industry. The tourism industry taking a $1 billion tumble in the first two months of the COVID-19 pandemic. Charleston's rich history, iconic culture, and world-class restaurants make it the heart of the tourism industry across the state and much of the southeast. But in times like these, I'm told local businesses are bleeding as the world pulls itself out of pandemic mode. From beachfronts to dining rooms, the repercussions of COVID-19 are being felt across the country. Dan Blumenstock, the director of hotels for Low Country Hotels, says you can see it in your own backyard. There's not a business, there's not a uh, restaurant owner, there's not a hotel owner that has not been impacted in some way, shape, or form. Is it a visible change that's happening? Is it something that the average Joe would notice? Absolutely. To, to look at King Street, to look at uh, the Battery, to look at Waterfront Park, I could go on and on. <laughs> um, there's a distinct difference in what it looks like today and what it would have looked like the same day last year. But as Charleston reopens, you won't see a herd of tourists as restrictions are lifted. There is not a gate up that's restricting access to our state or to our community in any way, shape or form. So you're not going to see like this lifting of the gate and everybody just rush into town immediately. It'll be a pretty slow process. Uh, ironically, the spigot got turned off very quickly but it doesn't get turned on nearly as quickly as we come back open. And the safety of residents and visitors is at the top of the list. We've taken the time to really concentrate on what efforts we need to have in place, mm -hmm. what strategies that we need to be able to be prepared for, and take the proper precautions as we welcome people back in. Blumenstock says we'll get through it together, one check-in, transaction, and order at a time. Reporting in Charleston, Temple Ricky, count on two. Nicely done. Thanks, Temple. You can find exclusive stories about the coronavirus online. Our website is countonto.com. Also, stay up to date by following our Facebook and Twitter pages and downloading our app for your smartphones. All you have to do is search WCBD in your app store.